afternoon guys and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. I got um, Walgreens. I actually like last minute came up with a quick Walgreens deal. I could have probably done it a little bit better than I ended up with um, because I had $14 of 20 that I needed for one of the like coupon sales um, that I could have gotten another $6 uh, register award back. I'm not huge into doing those register award deals just because like, I, like what if happens if I don't get it back? They're more close to like expiring, you know, than like having the Walgreens cash and stuff like that. So again, I could have went into maybe a little bit more detail just to try and gotten a little bit of a better deal. But overall, I still did really good actually because we got two giant things of the family size Cheez-Its. What they retail at was what I paid for all the other stuff I got, which I thought was really good. So um, I'll share with you guys the deals that I ended up doing there, Valley Produce and Caputo's as well. So these items right here, what we ended up picking up from Walgreens, we would have paid $44 and 30 cents we only paid $13 and 48 cents we saved $30 and 82 cents I used $5 in Walgreens cash and got back $6 and 22 cents so my net cost was $12 and 26 cents for everything which I thought was like I said pretty good because the um, Cheez-Its would have retailed over that cost <laughs> um, so I had available to me um, like the mystery offer um, was when you spend $22 you got a $6 in Walgreens cash back so all of my items nothing that I used had Walgreens uh, coupons involved in it or anything like that but obviously like if I used either Walgreens cash or Walgreens store coupons um, that would get my subtotal under that Walgreens coupons or Walgreens cash count against your total um, when it comes to earning that cash back but manufacturer coupons don't so I did have some manufacturer coupons which was how I was able to get a lower out-of-pocket and still earn back the um, the uh, you know the Walgreens cash and I was also able to use some because my total was actually more than that it was actually $27 um, in total like you know the um, subtotal that I would have paid had my um, coupons and Walgreens cash not come off so after the five dollars that I redeemed I was at $22 almost exactly it was $22 and some change so I was able to get earn that six dollars in Walgreens cash back so I'll go into the deals though that we're going on for this week, um, but that's just how I worked mine out. Um, so like I was saying, the Cheez-Its, um, Jack had asked for some after I had bought some last week at Jejewel, um, and also I bought those little ones last week at Walgreens for my mom. They had the big family sized ones, which are like 21 ounces. Um, uh, normal price, they're $7.99, but they're on sale, buy one, get one free. So they're about $4 a box, which actually, again, when I boiled it down to like ounces, size and everything like that this was actually I think still cheaper than like just the generic store brand from Walmart um, because how big the size of the boxes are so I thought that was really good especially too because it was something that Jack did ask for because he was like oh I really want some Cheez-Its <laughs> um, so like I said we ended up you know getting those for like I said a good price but that was a little bit you know whenever I feel like food is involved though I don't mind spending a little bit more so my deal maybe wasn't the best this week at Walgreens again I made it like 11 o'clock at night last night um i think or midnight or something and again you know i could have like i said worked it out possibly a little bit better but i still thought it was pretty good one of the other deals too was the arizona teas these were on sale uh two dollars for three or like 66 i think 67 cents each which was pretty good um and i love these so i always get the arnold palmer's I went ahead and picked up some more of those. And then with the Purex, this is on sale for $3.49. There's a dollar off manufacturer coupon, which makes it $2.49. And again, I compared 50 ounce size bottles that these are. And this is just about as cheap as like the super generic, super, super cheap kind from Walmart. Um, it was about the same per ounce. It definitely way cheaper than any of the Purex, even buying in the really big bulk size. Um, way cheaper than like Tide and all that kind of stuff. And obviously, like, like, you know comparatively I wouldn't say that Purex is probably as great as Tide but for the price that I paid for it definitely you know like I said was on the cheapest end of laundry detergent then the deal like I was saying with the um they had a shampoo conditioner I think hair care product deal that was going on when you spent $20 you get $6 back in a register award um so like I said I could have worked this out a little bit better because there were some other coupons that were available too like on Suave and some other things too but I didn't find that those were really the greatest price um, 
But the deal that I just decided to do, again, so I could get my total up to $22 and still get some pretty decent priced hair care products. I got two of the Garnier Home Blends, which are on sale for $7 for two, and I had a $4 off two manufacturer coupon. So that took these down $3 for two or $1.50 each, which for me, I feel like shampoo and conditioner under two bucks is a really good price. So I did that, and then I had the exact same deal also with the Garnier Fruit Teas, which is also on sale $7 for two with a $4 off two manufacturer coupon. That ended up making it $3 for two or $1.50. 50 each as well um so like i said i was at 14 bucks so had i just had another six dollars i would have been able to get it up even if i would have just bought another two of the garnier um anyway and not even had coupons i still could have worked it out where i got six of them after i got that register award back six of them for um a dollar fifty each basically i think it would have been something along those lines where it would have worked out to be about a dollar fifty as well for each um shampoo and conditioner had i bought just another two but again i didn't find that it was that big of a deal and um you know again if i hadn't gotten or generated the register award back or something like that i just wanted to make sure everything worked out and i believe that it still works the same too that it still counts the total for like that like it since it's a threshold you have to earn the twenty dollars pre manufacturer coupon so then if i have my manufacturer coupons take it down i believe I would still earn it. I don't really know because I don't do that a lot with the register awards or how those sales work, but I think that that would be how it would work. Um, so like I said, that was my deals though over at Walgreens. These over here were the items we ended up picking up from Valley Produce. We ended up spending a total of $24 and uh, 49 or 47 cents, um, including tax. So what we ended up picking up was we got the Eckridge Ham Off the Bone, um, which was on sale for $3.99. We got about a pound, which was $3.91. Also to a surprise sort of deal that they had that was going on was they had strawberries sort of like clearance out for $1.99. A lot of times if they're like sort of getting toward the end, uh, you know, like they might only be good for a handful of days more at the store, they'll start to, you know, put them on sale. So these were again $1.99. I ended up picking up four of those. Um, so that was about six bucks in total. Broccoli was on sale for $1.29 a pound. We picked up about a pound, which was $1.26. Um, and then the celery was on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. We ended up picking up about uh, two and a half pounds for um, $2.42. And then the romaine lettuce was on sale for four, uh, 79 cents a pound, and we got just about also a pound, which was uh, 73 cents. The um, plum tomatoes, those were on sale for 58 cents a pound. We got a little over a pound, 77 cents for that. Um, the cucumber, which was over there, the seedless cucumber was on sale um, for 67 cents or like three for $1.99. Um, and so, uh, oh, and also the spinach, we ended up picking up for 99 cents for one bunch. And then the um, a couple of the sale items that they had, they had Jello, which was 79 cents. We picked up three of those. They were a limit of three along with the Duncan Hines um, like cake mixes. Those were on sale for 99 cents. And I'm really upset, guys. Now I've tried at Jewel to get like classic yellow cake. They only had one left at Valley Produce, actually on a different sort of section of the shelf than where it was supposed to be. And they had the butter kind, which was fine, so I ended up getting that. Um, but I was a little disappointed because I tried at Jewel to also get like the just regular yellow. And because I have some dump cake recipes for that, I don't have, uh, they haven't had the yellow cake. So um, yeah, like I said, I ended up getting those. I would have liked to have gotten all the classic yellow, but like I said, they only had the one. So that's what we went with. Um, so that was everything from Valley Produce. And this was our real small haul at Caputo's. We finally finished using up that 60 whatever cents at the on the gift card last week. So we are now officially done with the gift cards, paying out of pocket again. Um, but the Gala apples, those were on sale for 79 cents a pound. We got about two and a half pounds. It was 186. And then the um, the red pep red bell peppers were on sale for 149 a pound. We got almost two pounds. It was 258. And then also the organic baby carrots, we picked up two bags of which were $1.50 each. So we paid, they're on sale three for two. Um, so that was what we ended up getting. We paid uh, $7.57 um, in total after tax for those items. So that was it guys. Um, like I said, I felt like, again, Walgreens, I like I said, I made the list super late minute last night. I was actually like, I'm not going to go to Walgreens. I'll just do Valley Produce and Caputo's. And I was like, you know what? If I can just find some real quick little deals here and there, I'll just go ahead and do them. Um, um, I also have two, which could make, have made, um, I don't know. It's weird. The, one of the other offers that's available, normally they have a month long offer. So if you have like two transactions worth of $10, you earn back a $5 Walgreens cash. Um, this week or this month, I guess for me, it was, if you spent 
fifteen dollars three times you got ten dollars in walgreens cash back so i was obviously over that last week i wasn't though um so i have to do another two at least to get that back however it's weird I, their coupons have a weird like expiration sort of thing on them they'll say like oh this coupon's expiring in one day like the for example the coupons for the garnier both of those actually and i think even the purex too it says oh it's expiring in one day but it said that last night on Wednesday. The coupons don't actually expire if I looked at the date. It don't expire until Saturday. So it's really weird like that it says that, but it says the same thing too with that month long one that you know like throughout the month of uh, April, you know, if you make two tra or three transactions worth $15, then you earn $10 in Walgreens cash back. But it says it's expiring tomorrow, like, you know, which would have been today. And so, but I don't think that that's the case. It's just like when you look at it, it says like that coupons are expiring that actually aren't. But I've noticed that it's not actually the case. So again, most likely I should be earning back that $10, which would be about $3 of that counted in this transaction. So my net cost was a little under 10 bucks. It was probably like nine something if I figure in the extra three it would be like three dollars 33 cents so somewhere around like again nine dollars or so actual net cost that I paid for those items which again is only about a dollar more than what the Cheez-Its alone would have cost me so I feel like if I got everything else for free that's really awesome and I probably would have just bought the Cheez-Its anyway because again we love them and again if I can get them actually cheaper than like the store brand kind and all that that's pretty good deal so anyways I'm gonna get all this stuff put away I thought I'd just share with you guys my haul I was pretty happy with Walgreens again deciding to go out you know they <laughs> come up with the idea last minute and everything and proud of myself for still like following through on it and not just being like I just don't feel like it or whatever just because again this week has to have a lot of stuff going on um so yeah anyways I still have to finish my jewel list and I don't think that we are going to go to Meyer just because we didn't have a good time like earlier in the week to be able to go so um, I think though most likely next week we probably will do that it makes more sense too to try and do it after the holidays because like even at Walgreens there were so many people buying Easter candy today it was crazy so um like I said I'd like to wait until probably after the holiday you know until after Easter just to get you know like I said probably go to Meyer just because I'm pretty sure that like Jewel on a Saturday morning is gonna be crazy busy uh, anyways, though, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away. Well, guys, I'm gonna go take a shower and get to bed. Um, I actually think I'm gonna watch a movie maybe before I go to bed because it's still sort of early and I definitely don't feel tired, but sometimes after I take a shower, I'm tired enough to actually go to bed. We'll see if I actually decide to go to bed right after I take a shower or not because, like I said, it's still sort of early right now. But, um, anyways, guys, I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.